Hi guys, it's me Karen and I've come back for part two of this beautiful picture we're doing here. This is called Spring Blossom by Mariola Budek and uh, we did her skin in the last video and today we're going to do her hair and possibly some of the flowers and leaves. I'm leaving that till a little bit later. Her hair is going to be done in different colors. It's going to be my first time trying to do that. Now, when I see her and knowing that she is the uh, either queen or princess of springtime, <laughs> her little flower crown, I wanted to kind of do her hair in kind of like a pink that turns into a brown that has little green edges on it. That's what I saw in my head, and that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Never done it before, so you're on a uh, experimental coloring with me and if I goof it up oh, oh well <laughs> so um, because I couldn't find bright pinks in the luminance I mean I have a couple of them but I wanted some brighter colors to make her hair look more um, soft uh, pink without any other uh, colors in it the um, pink that I have in here is kind of a orange brown color and it's not what I was after. I want pink. So I went into the Prisma colors and found some pinks and then I, sorry I have to sharpen all these puppies because we're doing hair. I did find a selection of browns uh, with a um, color that's going to take the pink into brown. And those are luminance so we'll sharpen those up and then the browns will go into the green at the end of her hair so every end of her hair will have green on it I do not want to get these mixed up because I spent a lot of time looking for these colors I had to find a um, kind of a burgundy color that would go with the pinks also to go with the browns and then I had to find some greens that kind of blended with brown and then showed up green at the end <laughs> so the green parts are actually going to have one luminance and two um, prismacolors in them so when I get these all sharpened I will tell you the colors how's that <laughs> should have sharpened these before I turned on the camera but of course I didn't think about it until right now okay here we go so the prisma colors for her hair are going to be a, a deco pink for the lightest color then we have hot pink 993 deco pink is 1014 and then we have um, neon pink which is 438 for kind of brightness to it so we're going to take those first and we're going to come down quite a, a farther way here in the pink area and then turn it into brown and then do the green down at the bottom <sighs> so take a deep breath i'm going to move the camera down and we are going to get started Okay, here we go. We're going to start with the, um, where's the name? The Deco Pink. Okay, we're going to put it up here. Just kind of where the brown in her hair is. I want to pull some of that out. We'll probably be going in with a couple colors because I really don't know how this is going to work. Probably a brighter color down in here. But I want to bring some of that up and out. And I noticed when I did her skin color, I did not put any skin color in her part. So I have to do that also. Let's see. What do we got here? Is the burnt ochre 10%. And I'll just bring that up in here. 
And then we'll bring in some burnt sienna, 50%. And a little of the burnt sienna. Okay. And we'll start with the pink again. I'll try to fix that up a little bit. It needs a little darker color in there, in her part. So this is Castle Earth. There, that'll work. All right, we're going to go in next with the um, hot pink. Yeah, that'll work in those darker areas. Kind of want like a bubblegum pink up here. <laughs> Don't know if that's what I'll get, but it's kind of what I'm going after. And we're going to pull it down here, too. We'll bring it down to right about her shoulder length in the pink. Shoulder. So we'll get some pink in here. Okay, I'm going to turn it and do the other side. Pulling it down. We got a nice little pink going on. I'll be playing with that a lot. So just remember when you're putting this color down, you want to um, keep turning the pencil in your hand so you have the sharpest edge going down for your little strokes of hair. Um, this one is the neon pink. It's not very heavy pressure on this. You just putting it down and pulling it. Okay, if we get in, in the flowers, I'm not going to worry about it. They are going to be kind of a pinkish flower anyway. So if there's a little line in there, use it as shadow. You know me, I'm not going to fret the little stuff. You can always use it to make a happy, happy accident. <laughs> okay, we're just going to keep adding this in.
kind of bring a few of those down into the lower section here because we are going to be blending it in with the brown and it can have a little pink highlights in it. Okay, now we're going to bring in again the deco pink, which is very soft color. And pull that down into the whiter areas or up into the whiter areas, whichever direction you're coloring it. Oh, that's a leaf. It's going to have some pink in it. Throw some white in there also. Can be Prisma and I have to sharpen it. I don't think that's too bad. Turning out pink. It's got some brown in it because the paper. Throw a little bit of white in here. Give it some extra highlighting. Especially up here at the top. Go over that brown a little bit. back in with your pinks again. Let's see, this is the hot pink. Where it's brownest, you want to put that color on. Just so it can cover up the brown line. back over again with some of the neon pink. I keep wanting to use that as a piece of hair. I'll use an eraser on that one.
and then back in with the lightest kind of add it in here and there I hope you're all doing well. Got some gardening done yesterday. We had a nice day of weather, so went out in the backyard and trimmed up some hydrangeas. Well, the one I didn't trim up last time. Okay. Then I pulled out um, underneath that hydrangea all the um, plantings that were underneath that so I could put in new plants <laughs> when I <laughs> can order them. We're not going to store for that kind of thing. Crimson Aubergine 599. Um, brown Ochre. 37 and the castle earth or castle earth uh, 46 these are going to be the um, brown colors <sighs> that we're going to add in here I got a light a medium and a dark and I'm really not sure how I'm going to put this down so obviously I'm going to start with the lightest color because we're just going to work some of this into the pink so this is the um, brown ochre just got a kind of a yellow tint to it we're just gonna go where the hair is the um, the darkest go up into the pink and pull some of that down on those lines also Okay, I'm going to put in some of the do, 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 uh, crimson aubergine in those same areas. So this kind of adds our darker pink but with our brown tone into it to give our transition between the two colors.
Gonna bring this down probably around about here. I need to get a little more brown in here. So we're going to bring in the um, castle or castle earth and that is the um, 46 and we're just going to go on top of some of that just to darken it up a little. Scratchiest pencil in the set, I believe. <laughs> but I like the color, so I put up with the scratch. <laughs> okay, we're going to go back in with the um, <laughs> brown ochre. It's the light color. Just going to kind of blend those out to a highlight. white in there. I don't want to lose these highlights. I'm also going to use it to blend the brown and the pink into the other brown and pink. sharper point on this. When you're doing hair you do like a sharp point so it looks like hair strands. Go over those darker lines. So a little more pressure.
So have you guys been getting out and doing anything fun? Weekends are always the hardest around our house. I like to get out and do garden work, but everybody else likes to sit down and watch movies. <laughs> Catch up on what's going on on the TV. Okay, I'm just going to kind of bring some of this up on this side too. And then we're going to have to bring in the green down here at the bottom. I'm not sure I like all of this, but I will keep working on it. I'm going to go with my whole plan here. So we were going to do the green, and I'm trying to remember how I had it set up. Um, yes, this is olive brown. 39. And it's kind of the same color. We're going to add it in here for the green tones. Sorry if I'm off camera here. Bring that right up on that other color. on up into here too. Okay, the other color I have out here is the Prisma and it's the um, Persian Green because I want a little greener down here. So we're going to add some of that in there. Okay, so that's kind of what we're going after. We're going to put white in that also. see what we can do here. Thank you. 
little dusty out. Okay, I'm going to keep playing with this until I get the right color down here at the bottom. And I may bring in some Prismacolors to do that too. Yeah, let's see. What do we have? I'm going to pull out a few here. Mm. Looking for some browns. So, so hold on a minute. Okay, I thought I would just bring in some pan pastels. So I'm going to use this one in the center, or the kind of reddish brown one. It is burnt sienna shade, and I might use some burnt sienna extra dark. That's um, this one here and this one here. Okay, I'm going to just try to get a little more um, brown in here. Not getting with the pencil as nicely as I wanted it. So I'm just touching it on in here and pulling it up. That is the Burnt Sienna tint or shade or no, no shade. It's not the dark one. Okay, so we're just going to bring that up. Nice and softly into the pink. And down into the green areas. better. Okay, I can add some white in there if I want to. I have bleh, <laughs> uh, some greens in here on this one. So let's see what color that is. Bright yellow green shade and chrome oxide green here and that looks like a turquoise. So we're going to see what those do. This is how I color. So <laughs> I had an idea and the pencils weren't working out. We're going to go in with something else. So we're going to go in with the um, bright green, yellow green thing. I'll put the colors down below. Okay. So we're just going to work that in. There. I like that. Okay, we'll move those over here for a second. And then we will um, find my white Pasca that is rolling around on my desk somewhere. And we're going to put in some highlights. So kind of like where the highlights were before. If you want to, you can tap that in. So it blends a little better.
and just bring it all the way up. Add some highlights in here too. If you want to bring any hair down onto her face, you can do that too. You can do this after um, you uh, get the flowers done too, because you can go over the flowers with it. Or if you wanted to put in a background. So just play around with it until you like what it looks like. And if you don't like what you did, you can go right back over it with your colored pencils or your pastels. It'll cover it right back up. Just going to knock it back a little bit with the, um, whatever this is, <laughs> Prismacolor Light Umber. We're just going to go in, kind of knock them down a little bit here. Also add some color if you like. So I'll just be doing this for a while until I like all the uh, shading on the hair. Of course, I have a whole other side to do. <laughs> oh, yay! Put the brown here and add any extra dark shadowing. It also help blend in the um, brown I didn't get rid of up here. in the brown down here anyway. So we'll just bring it down here. Sorry about moving the paper, but I'm trying to keep it in frame while I'm coloring. 
not easy for me to do sometimes. <laughs> We'll get the um, pastels out again. Put in the green down here in the bottom. Love working with these pen pastels. It's kind of like working with the stress ink, <laughs> except you have to spray this one. I'm going to add that up there. And then we'll go with the brown. This is probably going to look a little better than the other side, but I'll make them both match. Okay, then we go in with the um, brown. And move that one. And the sienna comes in. Ooh, that got dark. That's okay. thing about this is you can put it down kind of smear it all over the place and then use your eraser and get it out and give highlights to this okay so eraser I'll find that too So I want like a highlight here, we just erase it out of there, pull it down up on here, yeah I ordered uh, myself some more of these um, pan pastels in different colors. But uh, it's going to take a while for them to get here. There we go. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. But I have to make them even, so... I don't like this bright green. I will probably end up erasing that out. Yeah. Just get rid of it a little bit. So it's not so bright, bright. And leave it soft like that one. So take a little of it out and then just go back in. I have to take this down pretty soon and I'll spray it, but just add in the green and brown down here. using over on this side. Let's see. I don't know. But I'll bring in a little extra green over here with the pencil.
I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. I get carried away trying to fix this side over here. Then we'll bring in the um, olive brown. Darken it up here a little bit. So you don't see that bright, bright green, except for an undertone. We have to bring some more of this brown in here. I should watch my hand because we are now in pastels. I'm probably smearing it all over the place. So, earth stuff, the darkest brown. in there was that kind of yellowish tone so paper back <laughs> use some of that in here too that is the um, brown ochre some white highlights in that also.
gotta be careful putting that over the pastel so I'm gonna go spray it and then I'll be right back okay I'm back after spraying it um, still not quite happy with the coloring down here so just because it's what I do I go in with more 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 until I'm happy with it I have the Karen um, Pro brush markers and I have one in cocoa and I have one in a uh, curry. Not quite sure how I was going to do this. I had just tested a little bit of it out on the um, hair here and then brought it in with my finger but you'd notice I go over the edge so I thought I'd try it with a paintbrush. Um, my problem is I don't have any water out here so I'll just stick some water on the pad over here and see what I can do with this. Just dab a little water and into the um, brush and just add a little of this color in here. Uh, these are a water base marker. I like that color. I wanted to add a little in. Now there is a workable fixative on this so there's a high chance that it won't seep into the paper like it normally would. But we're going to see what happens here and what it looks like. I am going to have to turn this light off because I can't see what I'm doing. So for the camera's sake I have to turn off both lights <laughs> so it doesn't try to dive into things. see how that works in here and I can just bring it up with my finger too if I think there's too much going on here. Okay, I like that. We'll go around the other side, do the same thing. In case you're wondering why I always turn off the light, I have a very um, deep stigmatism in one of my eyes. And <laughs> the bright lights tend to hurt that eye. And when I'm trying to do something I've never done before, I like to be able to kind of see what I'm doing. <laughs> Half of the time I'm coloring, I don't really see what it is I'm doing because I know you like the lights and you guys can see better with them. This is the cocoa that I'm putting in now and just adding it here and there where I think it'll look nice. Watering it down so it's just like a little wash on top of what's laid down already. really not putting too much water on this. I'm just kind of picking it straight up from the plastic board I have it on and brushing it over and then I'm going to let this dry. So just add it where you want. And a little more over here. I haven't got to play around with these too much, but I I really like them. I'm 
a little more over here. And I'm liking how that looks. Okay, turn the lights back on for you, and that's what we've got. Like I said, that has to dry, and then we will be back and do the flowers and the uh, foliage on her. Okay guys, I just uh, looked at how long the video is, and it's about an hour, so what I'm going to do is uh, end it now. Um, I kind of like the way it turned out. I may fiddle around with the, uh, trying to get this to look a little bit more uh, like hair because it looks a little solid so I might um, add in some colors or white or something. I don't know. I'll debate about that and in part three we will see if that needs to be fixed <laughs> or if I just leave it. It all depends. Um, we will come back in part three and do her uh, little crown, her little flowering on her arm, and I haven't decided about the tattoo part yet, um, so I have a little thinking to do about that, and I need to figure out a background, what color I want to stick in the background of this. I was thinking blue, because that would be a nice uh, color to go with the green, brown, and the pink. So I debating on what color I should do the little flowers because I could either do them in blue or I could do them in pink. If I do them in blue, that'll bring in the color that I want to do in the background. Leaves are all going to be done the same in um, a green on the headband and her wrist area, upper arm. Her tattoo, though, I have to decide if I want to actually color that in or if I just want to grayscale it in. So, we will be back for part three, and I hope to see you then. I hope you're enjoying. <laughs> I'm having a little bit of fun with it. I even have, you know, I have the opportunity of making another one if I don't, um, you know, if I want to change her hairstyle or put in something else or whatever, because the digital prints are always uh, great for that. So I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying and I will see you in um, part three and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care now. Bye.